Although it's generated all over the world, Asia's become the dumping ground for plastic waste. With shipments from Europe and America clogging up Thailand, the Philippines and Indonesia. But researchers quickly showed us that large bits of plastic in the sea aren't the only problem. Another very significant danger comes from microplastics, tiny fragments of plastic that have broken down. But is this just an Asian problem? Thousands of kilometers away in Europe, the problems of plastic pollution aren't as visible, but they're still very present. Connemara National Park in Ireland is renowned for its natural beauty. Facing the Atlantic coast, it's fed by cold, clean waters, beloved of shellfish farmers. And that is what attracted Simon Kennedy to set up his mussel farm 30 years ago. As he sets out to check on his harvest, flocks of greedy seagulls swoop overhead. but the appetite amongst paying customers has declined. A recent study showed that 100% of mussels caught in the British Isles contain microplastic. As he pulls up the ropes of mussels, he explains how these bivalves and other marine creatures suck everything out of the water around them. These guys are sea squirts. So it's actually, it, they are an animal. Uh, there's a good few animals there. If you look, hold it up to light, you can see there's the guts through it. So the sea squirt has two siphons, one to suck in the phytoplankton and the other to, and they're called a sea squirt because, so, right, yeah. But these are some of the cleanest waters in Europe. Simon does everything he can to produce mussels of the highest quality, but there's nothing he can do about this. And while he does everything he can to protect his customers, there are nagging doubts about the impact of eating plastic particles. As from a health point of view, we've, that's, we've yet to find out if, if, if it is a problem or not, but I think it is identified that microplastics are carcinogenic. Carcinogenic, that means they could cause cancer. It's a huge frustration for Simon, he produces a premium product and supplies some of the best restaurants in Ireland. He's deliberately located himself in a place where his mussels will have the cleanest, purest waters to grow in, but he's facing an enemy so small it can evade any defense. What they ingest is, is microscopic, so uh, yeah, yet I suppose we'd have to be looking at that under electron microscope. That's exactly what's now happening. As people have become more and more aware of plastic pollution and its potential damage to the environment around us, new research is being launched to try and find out how much is out there and what impact it's having. Although only in the early stages, this new research is throwing up some very disturbing findings. Mussels are important because they're, they filter feed, so they remove a lot of contaminants and particulates from the water column. They keep the waters nice and clean. They have a really important role ecologically. Dr. Danielle Green recently finished a study into the impact of microplastics on mussels. So I was interested in, did it affect their filtration rate? And with the normal microplastics, it was about halved. Not only that, but plastic affects vital functions in the mussel's biology, such as reproduction, digestion, or producing the adhesive threads they use to cling onto rocks or the seabed. They excreted half the number of threads, of bisal threads, and their attachment strength was halved. So they could be dislodged a lot easier if they were in nature exposed to waves, which is quite an important result. And this is a problem that's only going to grow. I think the problem is bigger than what people thought it was. And there, there is other research to suggest that it's still growing because of fragmentation of bigger bits of plastic too. And in very general terms, is that likely to pass on into human beings as that goes up the food chain? Potentially, yeah. I mean, if we're eating, um, particularly when we eat whole organisms, like mussels is something that you, you know, you eat the whole organism. 